Gusto mo bang mag-register sa SSS online pero hindi mo alam kung paano gagawin ito? Well, you made the right choice by clicking and watching this video. So, tuturuan ko naman kayo kung paano gawin ito. So, wala nang paligoy-ligoy pa. Let's get started. So, unang gagawin, pumunta lang sa kahit na nung browser, itype lang ang www.sss.gov.ph. And once you enter that one, you will be brought to this page where you can see this user interface. And magpa-prompt po itong, I am not a robot. Click nyo lang po yan. And then, once mag-check na yan, click submit. And since wala pa tayong account and we are a member, then we will log in as a member. So, click nyo lang po dito yung member. And you will be routed to this user interface. So, here, hindi pa tayo mag-log in, of course. Kasi wala pa tayong user ID and password. So, in order to get the user ID and password, you need to click here, not yet registered in my.sss. Yun. I-click po natin yan. And once we click that one, ito po yung mga reminders na kailangan natin basahin kasi nandito yung mga kal kakailanganin natin in order to register successfully. So, pakibasa lang lahat ng yan at intindihin po natin. In a way, I will just walk you through on how to do this so that you will have a guide also. Okay, sa iba pang bahagi nito, sa reminders, i-click naman tong maliit na box. You can see that? Check mo lang yan and click proceed. Okay, once you click that one, ito ang makikita mo. Ito na yung online member user ID registration. Ano nga ba ang mga information makikita mo dito? So, yung naka-asterisk or yung naka may asterisk and yung required, naka-red highlighted, yun po yung mga required field na kailangan natin pilapan. Like for example, here, you need to input your CRN. Ito po yung nasa UMED, upper right corner, yung 11 digit. CRN number, yun po ang i-input nyo if you have UMED. Pero kung wala yung UMED, wala kayong UMED, and you have your SSS number, at alam nyo yung SSS number nyo, input nyo lang po dito. And then, you need also your active email address. Active po. Bakit po active? Kasi mag email si SSS to on. Okay? So, yung active po. And then, once you input your email address here, you need to confirm your email as well. And then, here, yung preferred user ID. What is user ID? Ito po yung gagamitin nyo para makalagin. Okay? Kumbaga, ito yung ID nyo para makalagin sa SSS. So, para makakuha kayo ng ID, you need to input yung mga uh, relevant letters like your name. And it should also be 8 to 20 characters. Okay? Hindi ina-accept ni SSS ang 6 letters lang. Okay? At yung may mga special characters. This is just an example. Oh. You can see here, an example, Juan underscore Cruz 1234. This is just an example. Ang, ang applicable lamang na special character na tinatanggap ni SSS is yung underscore. Okay? Other than that, hindi na tatanggapin ni SSS if may other characters na hindi underscore. Okay? So, that is preferred user ID. And, technique lang po or tip lang po dito sa user ID. If you have if you, para hindi nyo makalimutan yung SSS user ID nyo, pakisulat na lang po sa malinis na papel, yung notebooks, so that if you cannot remember, alam nyo na kung saan ito hahanapin. Okay? Because nobody would know anong user ID ang in-input mo dito. So, once you input here, you should also write it in a clean sheet of paper or your notebook. Or maybe yung notes sa cellphone mo. If you have your smartphone and you have your notes there, you can definitely use that one. Okay? And after that, you need to confirm preferred user ID. And once you're done, let's move on to your user, I mean, your surname, yung apelido mo, palagay mo lang dito. Yung given name, pangalan, middle name. If wala namang middle name, okay lang yan. Just skip that one. And then your suffix, senior or junior, dito ilagay. Date of birth, wag kalimutan also. That's month slash day slash date of year. Okay? Next one is your mailing address. It should be Philippine address here, okay? And then, if you're living Metro Manila, then you can check this one. And once you're living in the province, like me, you can choose here the specific province where you are in. Here are the options. Drag nyo lang yan or scroll down and then select your barangay, okay, and the city and municipality, okay? And once you're, um, especially if you're living abroad, then you can also use your foreign mailing address. It's just your address, city, the zip code, and the country. Okay, click nyo lang po yung drop-down 
drop down arrow and here are some of the countries listed here and then registration reference so ito po yung options natin para makarehistro okay so we have here zoom in lang natin tong mga options here we have here some of the options here we have uh, savings account number okay makarehistro ka gamit ay yung savings account number yung mobile number unit card employer id number paid um, payment reference number yung paid na po ha wag po yung hindi pa paid okay and then date of last loan and the transaction number shown in your personal record and then check number okay discuss po natin to isa isa okay para hindi, para hindi kayo maguluhan first we have savings account number so especially yung mga pensioner wala pang SSS account pero may account number na na nalilink yung mga yung pera yung yung pera na pension monthly na naiinuhulog ni SSS sa ATM card yung account number doon sa ATM card yung gamitin niyo para maka-access kayo sa SSS online okay it could be your city cash card union bank philippines quick card umid ATM yung umid natin ID na naging ATM na din yung account number doon pwede natin gamitin to register in SSS online next yung mobile number registered in SSS it should be yung number na naka-register hindi yung kahit anong number lang no it yung number na inirehistro niyo okay once you file your E1 yes yun po especially ito yung mga number na nagte-text sa SSS na that your contribution has been posted blah 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 yung number na yun ang gamitin niyo if you receive that kind of text message okay and the usual thing is to register is here umid card if my umid card ka na then use it okay and in using this one you only need to remember your mother's maiden name okay so yeah for example i click po natin itong umid card you can see here the options if you if you click this umid card as a registration reference you are asked to have this umid card have been activated and SSS information if yung ATM something like that but normally we will register using the username I mean ma maiden name ng mother ninyo it should be your last name kung ano po yung sinulat nyo doon sa form sa E1 sa pag-apply nyo ng SS number yun po ang pangalan na dapat ilagay nyo dito sa maiden name you should remember that po okay if hindi naman, if hindi kayo maka-register gamit ang UID card, may ibang options naman po dito. Like for instance, ito yung employer ID number, okay? If hindi niyo alam, if hindi niyo alam yung employer ID, then you don't have to choose that one. But instead, you can choose paid ref, um, paid payment reference number, okay? Yung nabayaran niyo na yung past month. You have your payment reference number or PRN. So, ilagay niyo lang po dito yung PRN niyo. Maybe yes, and then you can directly be registered in SSS online, okay? At kung hindi nyo naman maala, makuha yung, or ma-remember, or hindi nyo na alam yung payment reference number nyo, then you have here date of last loan. If nakabil kayo ng loan kay SSS, then you can get, you know, like just the date. Yung petsa lang ang kinakailangan. Ano po ba to? For example, you choose that one. So, yung month lang, yung day, at yung year. Siyem, syempre, alam nyo naman kung what day yun, di ba? When you applied your last loan. Okay? So, if hindi nyo naman maalala, then you can have this options, transaction number shown in your personal record. Okay, this is for those people who, yung mga tao na nak, um, nakuha lang or nag-apply ng UMID ID, especially nung nag-fill up kayo ng E1 or E6, starting December 10, 2020 hanggang ngayon, then you can use your transaction number. Okay? Na, makikita sa personal record ng Unified Multipurpose ID. Makikita nyo doon. Pwede nyo yung gamitin at i-input dito. Okay? Dito lang. So, madali lang yan. If hindi nyo naman, if wala kayo nito, then lastly, ito yung check number. This is only for, I think, those people who already received monthly pension. Okay? Yung retired na sila or yung people na already um, claim their disability um, benefits yung mga pensioner na, then you can use your check number. Yung sa check e po. Okay? Number sa check e. Click nyo lang yan at i-input dito para maka-register maka sa my SSS online. Okay? And normally, uh, we will register using our unit card. Okay? Once you choose that one, then you will input here 
your mother's maiden name. Okay? And once my input yun na po dito sa ibaba, you can click only I am not a robot. Okay? Click nyo lang yung I am not a robot and then I accept terms of service and then click submit. Okay? And may magpapop up dito ng message. Yes, and then click nyo lang po yung OK. And once you click OK, then pumunta agad sa email at ninyo. Kasi nag email doon si SSS. At katanungan, Ma'am, hindi po namin na-receive. Wala pa kaming email na na-receive. Then you have to go and check your spam messages. Saan po yun makikita yung spam messages, Ma'am? Well, I, I will show you on how to see or look at your spam messages. Okay, here it is. Okay, so dito po natin makikita yung spam messages. So, on the left-hand corner, makikita mo dito yung options. Dito yung an inbox nyo. Kung wala kayong na-receive na messages dito from SSS, click nyo lang po yung more. And then, scroll up, scroll down. Dito makikita nyo yung spam. Okay, spam. Usually, nandito po yung SSS. Okay? May mag appear po dyan. And this is how the email from SSS will look like so for example you will you are successful enough you know to register and ito po yung message thank you for registering an SSS website like you this would be your user ID yung user ID and then in order to activate your my.sss member account and provide your preferred password by clicking dito nyo po i-click yung clicking here okay once you click that one may mag appear po na of course may mag appear po dyan na to activate your my.sss account and nominate your preferred password please provide at least six digit of your crn or sss number you entered in my.sss registration so again i-input nyo lang po dito yung last six digit of your crn number or your sss number last digit po okay and then once you input there then click submit after new, maiklik yung submit. Ito po yung mag appear This time, kailangan nyo po pumili ng preferred password. The length must be 8 to 20 alphanumeric characters po. And of course, the first character must be alphabetic. Okay? It's up to you kung anong password ang gagawin ninyo. And make sure na tatandaan nyo po ito. Again, my tip, pakisulat po ito sa notebook or anything na... If hindi nyo matandaan, if hindi, hindi nyo na alam, may makikita kayo or alam nyo, nyo kung saan ito hahanapin. Okay? Again, the first character must be alphabetic. No special characters when you input your preferred password. And the password must be different from your user ID. Hindi po, pari, hindi po same dapat ng user ID. Iba po ang user ID, iba, iba din po ang password. So, for example, yung your password would be JD Cruz. 08 and then yung JD is capital and then C is capital then and then upon clicking submit you will be directed to your account page and then you need to log in na po so ito na po doon na po tayo sa user interface and finally it's time for you to log in as a member using your user ID and your password and then you're good to go you can view your contributions online and you can file loan online na hindi na kailangan pumunta sa SSS branch. So I think that's it for this video. So if you if this video helps you and if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell and of course, enjoy your day. That's it.